Hey guys, just thought I'd make a quick short video. I thought this keyboard was broken. I am not sure if this is a cheap knockoff or not. I bought this off of Amazon. It's no longer sold anymore. If you go to Pictech's website, ipictech.com, I have the link below, you'll see that they still sell this keyboard and it's about 30 bucks. Well, I paid less than half of that and there were some reviews on Amazon that said the keys stopped working. So I kind of just thought that this keyboard was broken um, for a short amount of time. But I was wrong. This keyboard is actually pretty good. It's a pretty good keyboard. Um, here you can see me typing a little bit. Well, I was able to type for a little bit. Give me a sec, wonder what I do. Well, yeah, so you can see me typing a little bit. And um, hit the escape key and it works fine. Now, why I thought it was broken for a little bit was, well, because one, because some, cust not, some reviewers on Amazon said their keys were broken and no longer working. And secondly, you know, I thought I bought a cheap knockoff as you know the uh, the seller on Amazon is no longer selling these keyboards um, and I, I got this keyboard for really cheap I think I paid only about 13 bucks for it so what happened was that um, my daughter likes to come and just mash keys on my keyboard just as I, I was doing this now and basically what happened was um, she must have hit keys like this, right? Like, um, uh, here's my function key and maybe my function lock. And if I hit function lock, um, can't type anymore. I'm stuck. Uh, but if I want to get out of that, I can hit function lock and I'm back and typing again. Now, if she hit function lock, maybe I would have noticed, right? Because nothing worked, right? But what happened, I think, was she may have hit function the win lock, and that is not that easy to notice. So hitting that, my escape key no longer works. Um, if you know VI, you'll know that uh, the insert here is the mode that I'm in, and if I want to get out of that insert mode, uh, I have to hit escape. Um, if you don't know VI, then that's the case. Then, then you know, we wouldn't know. But anyway, um, Windows wasn't working, the Windows key wasn't working either. And now I work on the Mac a lot. Um, I do use a PC too, which is what I'm recording on. But um, that key is almost like the control key. It's kind of essential on the Mac. It's not so essential on the Windows. So, um, you know, I kind of thought for a little while that I could live without it, but now I need those keys. And um, luckily, I went on YouTube and I found some other video where they were kind of showing how you could unlock lock and unlock these keys so I got really lucky and I found out that okay now I know right now my keys are good so it's basically the function and the windows key function the lock key uh, there's other kind of cool things about this keyboard too like if you want to change the colors you can do like function and end you can kind of cycle through the different colors um, I haven't figured out all the different things you can do with this keyboard but um, and I don't think I don't, if I remember correctly, I, I don't remember the manual being that helpful either. Um, I still haven't figured out what these macro keys are good for. Uh, but one thing I really love about this keyboard is being able to control the volume with this little scroll and wheel thing here. So overall, um, I still love this keyboard. I think it's really cool. It's a great investment for 13 bucks or whatever I paid for it. It might have been 15 But um, that's it, you know. like. Um, if you think your keyboard is broken, you might want to check those locks first. You know, the Funk the F11 lock or the Windows key lock. Um, hopefully it's not broken. Um, you know, and I hope this one stays working for a very long time because I think this is a very cool keyboard. I'm very happy with it. Um, having bought it for only like 13 to 15 dollars. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please uh, write in the comments below. If you have any other tricks on how to get these macro keys working or 
how to get it to be maybe like one solid color or not changing colors, I'd be happy to know too because I can't find the manual for this thing. If you can also find a manual for this thing, I'd love to see the link below as well. Thank you very much for watching.